Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Joy of Pokemon with your host, Joe R. So sit back and relax. Today, we're going to be reviewing card cases. That's card cases with a K. And we're going to see just how good a job they do taking those cards and cradling them in that wonderful case that we like to store them in. Stay tuned. Welcome back and happy holidays. We're going to review the card cases with a K. And I want you to take notice first off of our four little clamps. We have one over here, one over here, one over here, and one over here. They're happy little clamps. And we also have two holes here that you can see they're shining with that nice shiny metal color. You can put a nice little padlock on there, keep your cards nice and secure as you carry them around all around the nation. There's also a nice big handle here extra large so you carry that case no problemo and we're going to open up these four happy little clamps one two three four nice sealable clamp and you hear that when it lifts away it has that little sticky sound that is your o-ring that o-ring gasket can keep that dust out that water out keep your cards nice and dry nice and safe and you can see there's also a nice big piece of foam here on top this card case comes with three pieces of foam, as a matter of fact. We have one piece of foam on top, one piece of foam that is the middle layer here that's nice and customizable. We'll take a look at that in a second. And there's one solid piece of foam on the bottom. Each piece of foam fits perfectly inside your card case. Now that top layer of foam, that's nice and customizable. You can take a look here. This is a piece that I cut out myself. And you can see that each piece is made up of many, many, many different numbers of cubes. Happy little cubes. Now if you take out some kind of serrated knife and be careful with those knife skits, you can cut that little bit of foam out for yourself and make your case your own little case, however you see fit. You take a look here, I decided to cut my foam and store my card sideways. There's approximately 28 little cubes that go across long ways of this Pelican case. And so I cut each of these out, and this is about nine cubes across, so it could fit two rows comfortably, as I do here. Now, if you try to stand your cards up, just like that, straight up and down, happy little cards, they're not going to be able to close on top of this case. So what you can do is you can remove that bottom foam insert. If you remove that bottom foam insert, you can fit maybe about four columns side by side, standing up. The only downside to this is that your cards would then be sitting on a cold plastic bottom. If you want them to be comforted on both ends with foam, top and bottom, this is your best option. Putting them on their side like this. But then you're limiting how many cards you can store in your happy little case. Now if you want, and if you mess up with cutting this foam, you can go to card cases and they sell these customizable pieces of foam for your case for around five to six dollars each. So you can go order two more of these Put both in, customize them, cut them out however you see fit, and stand your cards upright if you like. You do whatever you want to help protect your cards and make them see the light of another day. That's my review of card cases, ladies and gentlemen. From my house to yours, happy holidays, and God bless. Take a look at just a few of these cards. Look at this card. Isn't that happy little Diglett? Look at that Diglett. He's so happy. Oh my. He's a happy little E3 Pikachu. Happy little E3 Pikachu. He's so happy he just can't help himself. Nice and chunky. Oh, look at that. It's a happy little Blastoise. He's so happy being first edition and shadowless. Happy little Blastoise. We're going to put him back. Put him back in this nice, happy little space. Got to stay happy in my case. Oh, who could forget? Look at the smile on that face. Isn't that happy? That's the happiest of them all. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless. And have a wonderful and merry Christmas.